Hello everyone, how is it going? Welcome to SunPy. If you have already completed the basic machine learning and data analysis courses and uh, you have the basic knowledge of machine learning and data analysis and uh, you want to work on some real world machine learning based projects, then you are at the right place. Today we are going to do a case analysis on COVID-19 and uh, for that I have found a data set on uh, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare website and you can find more data sets on Kaggle. There are thousands of data sets available there. You can find so many data sets there. So that's not a big issue. So let's get started. Uh, to do analysis, we need some libraries to import. We need pandas, we need matplotlib or pyplot to visualize our data. And then let's import our data set. We have our data set in JSON format dot JSON. So we're using pandas dot uh, read JSON to import our data. So we have imported our data and then we check our data using dataset dot head. And then we can see that our data set has uh, imported successfully. Now it's time to understand the data and we for that we play with our data set. So we check the total rows and columns using dataset.shape and as you can see we have 37 uh, rows and 11 columns in our data set. So one thing we need to notice that we only have 37 rows in our data set so if you want to perform a machine learning model on our, our data set so it will not give us a good accuracy because in our data set we only have 37 rows but for the machine learning if there is more data that means more accurate model uh, it will build so it's better if we don't perform any machine learning uh, model here and because we won't get appropriate accuracy from this model and that's why we are only analyzing the data set so let's check some basic information about our data so using a dot info function so as we can see we don't have any null values in our data set and we have uh, integer data type we have object data type we have integer object and we have nine integer type data type and two object type data type and let's get some statistical overview of our data set using dot describe function and as you can see we have minimum active cases that is zero and minimum death cases that is one uh four sorry and we have minimum new active cases that is zero as well and uh, minimum new death cases that is for all that means they are the same and we check the maximum we have the maximum active cases that's one lakh uh, eighteen thousand plus and for the new uh, maximum death rate oh my goodness that's a huge number forty six thousand plus it's a huge death we can check here and uh, same for the new death cases so now we're gonna check if we our data set has any null values or not using is null dot sum so as we can see we don't have any null value that's very good news for us because if we have null values in our data set then we have to handle that null values and if you don't know how to handle null values properly then no worries uh, in our upcoming video lessons we'll work on some more data set and then we'll find data set with missing values then we'll handle them so it's not a big deal but you should know how to handle missing data because you cannot perform your uh, machine learning model or data analysis uh, pro, uh, process with with missing values you have to handle the missing values first this is very important then we check out the column names here using dot keys uh, as you can see, we have SNO, state name, active, positive, cute, death, new, de new, active, new, positive, new, cute, new, death, state code, etc. Then we check uh, unique values of our uh, data. As you can see that we have almost all the unique values here, except in the new active columns. 
and then we check our data set again you can use data set dot head to see the first uh, few rows of your data set and you can use data set dot tail to check out the last few elements of your data set then what are we actually doing here we are getting the total number of active cases uh, from our data set and we are also here getting the total number of positive cases and uh, total number of cute cases at the same time total number of death cases new active new positive new cute new death cases so we are getting numerical values here but this is a bit confusing like what is going on what's happening actually I don't know so much values so big numbers here big numbers here so it would be better if we get a visualization of our data then it would be easier for us to understand what's going on actually and what this data set is saying to us so let's uh, visualize our data so to visualize our data we need c bone so we input c bone as sns then we are using uh, we are making a pair plot here so if you don't know what is going on here big uh, big uh, plot is here right here what is going on if you don't know no worries I'm gonna explain you so here we made a pair plot C bond pair plot so what we are doing here actually we are taking each column and comparing uh, that column with other columns that are what we are doing actually and checking out what is the relation between uh, the data the column so here as you can see we have new death uh, cases in the y-axis and we have SNO in the x-axis and then we check out how our data behaves and same if we uh, keep our uh, active cases in the x-axis and uh, new death in the y-axis then we can see that how our data is behaving and same for all that is what happening each column is uh, getting compared uh, with the other columns that is what happening that is what pair plot doing so uh, doing the pair plot for all of our data we are getting a clear visualization of the relationship uh, between one column to other columns so this is a very good visualization for we are getting a much more clear view uh, compared to the num numerical values now what we're going to do is we are actually uh, storing the total cases in a different variable that is cases ts so and then we drop the unnecessary columns like we don't need sno and the state name state code right now so we are uh, dropping them uh, for for a short time so what are we doing here actually we are taking the active positive queued and death column and making a pie chart of them and as you can see I have given 1.5 explode for the active column so that this piece gets separated from the pie chart and as you can see this piece is very uh, small it's only 0.2 percent active cage that's why uh, it's clear now we can clearly see what's going on and we are doing the same for the new active new gauges new positive new queued and new dead cases and it's also the new active case is 0.2 percent and now what are you doing here actually we are taking all the columns we have active positive queued dead and all the new cages and then we are making a pie chart using all the columns and as we can see now we have a very clear view of our queued and new queued are almost the same uh, new positive and positive cages they are almost the same we have 0.1 percent of active cages here if we compare all the uh, column together and then what's go what we are doing here actually we are selecting the state name and uh, taking the active column and we are grouping them by the state name and we sorting them ascending order and making a bar plot of them and as we can see that Kerala we have the highest number of active cases in Kerala 
followed by Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu. And then uh, we are doing the same for the death cases. And as we can see, we have the maximum number of death cases in Kerala, uh, followed by Karnataka and uh, sorry, we have the highest number of uh, death rate in Maharashtra, then Karnataka followed by uh, Kerala. And now, what we are doing here, we are uh, creating bar plot uh, and in the x-axis we have um, a state name for all the for all the bar plots and in the x uh, y-axis we are uh, giving active cases here and as you can see in Kerala we have the maximum number of active cases and then we have the maximum number of positive cases in Maharashtra followed by Kerala and Karnataka and then we have the maximum number of cute cases in Maharashtra and the Kerala and uh, again we can check the maximum number of new active cases so in Kerala we have maximum number of new active cases that is a very a big bar as we can see compared to Maharashtra and other states and then we can see the new positive cases that uh, Maharashtra is uh, big here the highest number of new positive cases uh, is in uh, Maharashtra and then we have a uh, new cute uh, in the y-axis and as we can see we have uh, maximum number of new cute cases in Maharashtra and followed by Kerala and Karnataka so again we check new death cases and as we can see the new death cases are pretty much higher in uh, Maharashtra and almost the same in Karnataka and Kerala so now what we are doing here actually we are dropping the SNO and state code from our main data set because we don't need them and as we can as you can see we have given in place true and so we are actually dropping the SNO and the state code from our main data set and then we are selecting a state name as our index so right now our index is the state name and now we are going to make some plots let's make a, a bar plot here using all the data we have uh, we, all the columns we have as you can see we have the legends that's giving the all uh, uh, that's indicating our columns uh, by different colors so we have Maharashtra has the highest number of active positive queued and death cases and then we have Kerala, Karnataka so it's a very pretty clear visualization uh, then we are comparing queued and death so as you can see Maharashtra we have the highest number of queued cases and also the highest number of death cases in this particular state and for the other state we don't have that much uh, death rate uh, only Maharashtra in Maharashtra it's visible the uh, red color is visible that's why it means Maharashtra has the maximum number of death cases also Maharashtra has the maximum number of cute cases as uh, Maharashtra has the maximum number of uh, infected cases then we check uh, positive and death cases and here as well Maharashtra has the highest number of positive cases and death cases then we check again the death and cute cases here also Maharashtra is in on the top again then followed by Kerala and Kanta so we have completed the basic uh, analysis of our data set so now we can come to a conclusion like uh, uh, Maharashtra we have the maximum number of positive death and new positive cases and uh, Kerala has gone through some disaster as well and some states like uh, Dadra, Nagar Haveli, Andamani, TC they are almost COVID free so I hope you have learned something new from this video so thank you everyone